SoFi update here on the 23rd. Let's do an overall uh, where we're at look going all the way back here to December of 22. So about a year and a half ago. We got this big move higher. And ever since then, we've been in a downtrend. So ever since July of 2023, downtrend. Um, ever since December of 23, we've been in a falling wedge. Um, but we could that could be coming to an end here soon. We don't know yet 100% what it's going to do. Let's go over the long-term patterns. So the most bullish pattern is going to be a five-wave move. That would just be a diagonal start like that. That would be wave one. Uh, this would be wave two. More than likely. And we'd be getting a wave three up here to like 16 bucks. I think it's around there. And a fifth wave would probably take us at least 20 bucks. So that's the most bullish pattern. Um, this would be <clears throat> like that. Fourth wave pullback, fifth wave like that. So that's the most bullish. Let's go over the second most bullish now. Second most bullish is WXY. Um, that makes this basically an ABC move. And we're actually in an ABC move right now. So this is A, B, C like that. Um, we would probably go to a little bit past the 1.61 Fib, similar to this right here up to about 14 bucks, 13, 14 bucks. The third most bullish pattern, they're all gonna be bullish coming out of a falling wedge like this, um, but the third most bullish is gonna be the least amount bullish, and that is A, falling wedge B, C wave back up here to 10 bucks. Overall, we'd be looking at it like this. <clears throat> then we'd come back down here probably to five or six bucks. So maybe a market crash or something happens to get it down here for the C wave. Um, <clears throat> so which one am I leaning towards? I would say I'm leaning towards the WXY one because um, we're in a similar position. We've retraced pretty much to the bottom right here. So this is very similar. This wave right here and this wave right here are similar. So circle these. This one. Those are similar, and then we're making the same move down right here. So then we just have an explosive move higher, five-wave move higher, and you can see it went past the 1.61 Fib. That would take us to 13, 14 bucks. So that's the one I'm thinking is the most likely, but again, we could come up here to 10 bucks and then come back down here. A lot of different patterns at play. So now zooming in here, you can see the falling wedge. We had A down, B, C, D, um, potentially E right here, but I don't think so because this is a corrective move. So this is probably A, B, and C like that. <clears throat> and now looking at exactly where we're at on the smaller time frames, the last video I said I was looking for 682, and we hit 678, um, which is actually the correct number. I don't know why I said 682. The 1.61 Fib is at 679. So third wave should be finished. So tomorrow I would be looking for a bounce, but it's probably going to be quick. We're probably going to see where we're at post market right now, maybe a little bit higher, 690, 695. And then you're looking for one more move down to 640-ish, maybe 646. You can see here, if I put the first wave around that area, it comes down to basically 640. So we're probably gonna see a move just similar to wave one to finish this off. And that would be the end of the falling wedge. As long as we hold basically this parallel line, we should be seeing a spike after that for the start of the move higher. Um, so we'll see what happens. I added some shares today at 680 just because I don't want to be wrong and miss this dip. But I can't lie, this has been very painful and it makes a lot of people not even want to invest in it anymore because they're just tired of 
looking at red. And that's pretty much what they're trying to do. So I'll point out one other thing too. Institutions are loading because this is a perfect pattern to load on. They load down here, bounce, load down here, bounce, load down here, bounce, load down here. And they're probably loading down here too. This is monthly demand we're in right now. So this is a great loading pattern for institutions. And it's also a bullish pattern overall. So we should see a break to the upside here in the next couple of weeks, I would think. And my minimum target is going to be, um, let's say we go to 640. I would say my minimum target has got to be the top of this at 1050. Um, and then my max target is obviously 14 to 16 bucks, something like that. <clears throat> so we'll see which pattern plays out. Everything looks great. Uh, it's been rough, but uh, you might get a chance to average down at 640. If you do, take advantage of it because we're probably going to spike here in the next couple weeks. <clears throat> All right, that's pretty much it for this video. Leave me a comment. Um, <clears throat> like, subscribe for more updates. And I will keep you updated the rest of the week, maybe over the weekend. Hopefully this finishes either tomorrow or next Tuesday. All right, have a good one.